Hey, it's Brett Stewart and I'm doing another home recording video. I'm actually going to expedite doing these. I'm going to be doing more and more of them on the channel now. So today I wanted to put to rest the difference between recording an electric guitar on a condenser mic and a dynamic mic. What I'll have is I'll have two of them going at the same time on the same exact placement, the same exact levels. I'll play a track that's about a minute and a half long that uses all different sorts of guitar playing styles and we'll see the difference. Let's get started. Here I have two microphones. This one's my Audix OM2, which is a dynamic microphone, and this is a condenser that I picked up for roughly the same price today called the MXI V63M. They're about the same price, except the difference is, is one's, a, one's a condenser and one's a dynamic. If you notice, I have them exactly the same distance, roughly about maybe, maybe 10, 10 inches and they're both pointed pretty much directly into the cab, directly into the center speaker. The Audix is at a slight, slight curve, uh, kind of going inward, but they're pretty much in exactly the same spot. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be playing that, that guitar track, and both these are going to be a recording. They're at exactly the same levels, except I have to turn the levels up a tiny bit on the OM2, because the dynamic mic doesn't pick it up as much, because condenser mics are a bit more sensitive. So let's um, give those tracks a listen. Now this is a shorter home recording studio video of the day, but I hope what you took from it is the difference between using these two microphones. In my honest opinion, 
I can't, there's no difference in sound. Maybe the condenser mic has a tiny bit more full of a sound, but in all honesty, it's not really recognizable, especially when you're playing your tracks to anyone who is, isn't going to hear the difference. So my best bet is I'm going to stick with my OM2s because I like my OM2s and they're versatile. And I'm actually going to take this thing back because I don't have a use for this condenser mic as I previously thought I would before I decided to test one. So that's my consensus, but maybe you guys have a different opinion on which one sounded better. In my opinion, they sounded pretty much the same. Maybe the condenser was a bit more, bit more fuller, but I, it's not to the untrained ear, who can tell. So hopefully it's helped you guys in determining, you know, what is a good mic for you to use. And keep in mind, this was recorded on an electric guitar amp. This test would be totally different if you were doing vocals or acoustic guitar. So this is purely for electric guitar. Um, and if you're wondering what the amp is, it's a Fender Frontman. 212R, which is one of their big, um, like, mid-sized amps. So, hopefully this helped you out, and I'll be putting another video together uh, at the end of the week with more home recording studio stuff. So, see you then.